there, uh, there's a common interpretation called like a thread versus process. So if you go to here, so if you Google it, right, there's a lot of answer like a thread versus process, right? But how do you know like a, uh, uh, I mean, uh, what I'm trying to say is our today's question is more like a multi-thread program versus multi-process program. It's a step further. But we can have a look at the Stack Overflow a little bit. So what is thread and what is process? So one more time. So the question today we're going to talk about is actually multi-thread program versus multi-process program, which could be an extension to the original interview question of thread versus process. You can talk about this as well for the interview question process and thread. It's okay, right? So uh, this is very basic, right? The thread and the process, they are, uh, how would I say, if you look at the next, uh, thread is more like uh, within a process, right? You can have a multiple thread within a process, right? So I'm just going to talk about the, the, the important part, okay? You can have a look at it later. Like, uh, uh, like uh, you can talk about uh, like uh, how process communicate with each other. It's different than thread communicate uh, with each other. Thread has its own stack. They are sharing the stack, I mean, I mean the, in memory wise, they have the, it has its own stack every thread. Also, they are sharing the heap, okay? They are sharing the heap. A, a process has its own dedicated memory space, okay? Memory space. And uh, uh, to mod, thread can communicate with each other in memory, okay? Like uh, you can use the, like, you know, like uh, uh, you can have other like a notify or something like that, right? In the code, right? It, in, inside a same process, okay? But uh, how process communicate with each other you have to use something more complicated, which you more, uh, pay a much more uh, higher price, like a pipe, like a, uh, like a socket, like a channel, right? Like a file, you can use file, right? A pipe is another way, like a kind of like a, uh, like C++ have it, like a Java may not have it, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, also like you can use like a network socket, right? To communicate, right? Or file, right? So that's a typical way. Uh, if you keep going, okay, let's go back to talk about the, the our real question, okay? So, speaking of uh, multi-thread and uh, multi-process, uh, typical example is, uh, uh, let's go back, uh, let me type a little bit, just for your help. So, let's talk about, uh, oh, I'm on line 142, okay? So, it's a step further to the original question. So, what about the multi-thread? What about the multi process program. Multi-thread can be, let's say, let's talk about example MySQL, and the multi-thread can be PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL. Why is it different? So first, the uh, MySQL for every request uh, is trying to start a new thread to process the request, okay? But for the PostgreSQL, it's for uh, every request, it's starting a new process, actually. Also, like a PHP is also doing the same. And the Chrome, what does Chrome mean? Chrome is the tab. Every time when you open a new tab, it's a, it's a standalone process, right, instead of thread. Why, is, uh, why do we want to do the multi-thread, right? What's the pro and the cons? So here is the part I'm gonna explain. So what's the pro and the con, like a, versus uh, uh, multi-thread. So, uh, so first, uh, with a multi-thread, the memory is shared as we mentioned, right? So basically, uh, if one thread screw up, like uh, out of memory, it will screw up all the other thread, right? So, so if you have a bad behavior in the thread, you screw it all, right? So you don't have like a standalone uh, memory space, you're sharing. So that's the benefit for the multi-process, right? Basically, you're, uh, you, you have a standalone, if you have a, like a Chrome, you have a bad tab, right? If you have a bad tab, that is not gonna screw up other tab, right? That tab might be like a, uh, okay, anyway. So the other part is, uh, uh, but let's talk about the bad thing about the multi-process, right? What's the bad thing about the multi-process? We just said it's a benefit or pro, or, right? So basically, uh, because uh, uh, it's a process, it's much heavy, right? So you should remember about uh, something called a context switch. 
context switch. What is context switch? Context switch is that uh, uh, you are saving all those metadata or like overfed of your current process or current uh, thread. Because it might go to sleep or yield, right? When it's not executing. Then when it comes back, right? So when, let's say, if you have a thread A, switch to thread B, and then switch to thread A. So you need to wake up thread A with its original metadata, right? It, those are saved in some place, right? So this is a, a context switch from B to A. And there, it, the cost of uh, uh, thread for the context switch is much uh, 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 less, less pricey, I would say. So basically, imagine if you want to set a program, how much effort or how long it take, right? When you try to start a thread, it's much faster, right? So that's the con. I think that basically is the most important part about it. So uh, uh, let me step back a little bit. So thread versus process can be very open. It, it, it can be involved a lot of even deeper knowledge part. It uh, depends on the interview where it goes. But this should be the most part that you should be able to, uh, you know this part should be pretty good. If you know more, it's better. And it depends on how the interviewer goes. It might probe as an area, right? But uh, based on my years of experience, I think that's enough, okay? Uh, for public site uh, Xcode Career Service, you can scan the barcode to follow our site. We, uh, we basically have uh, training and classes every Saturday, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific time. So if you are interested, you can always contact us or you can uh, join our WeChat group. You can add my WeChat ID. I will add you into our group. So welcome.